before this video starts, I want to give a shout out to two people. The first is Lightning Blitz. He uh, he has 38 subscribers. He makes uh, Pokemon, uh, Let's Plays, and random fan stuff. The next person is Lele. Uh, she has 23 subscribers and does a lot of random fa uh, random art, Let's Plays. She does she dabbles in the reaction stuff, but both these channels have under 100 subs. And I'm happy with the 100 subs, but I want to try to get these two creators some love and some attention. So go comment on their videos, watch them, and if you do comment, tell them Spitfire sent you. And I think they will really appreciate it. Go send the love, guys. Peace out. Hello, everyone. My name is Spitfire, and welcome back to an uh, another action. I'm doing something really odd. I haven't done a fan work in fucking three years. It's been about two years, probably, but I haven't done the fan work in about a while, so... I thought I'd sell these out because, um... They seem to be being uh, suggested to me, and I see other reactors reacting to them, and I think it'll be interesting, because it's, a uh, You're a little cat. I, I don't even know the, how to pronounce the critter's name, but... I know this critter's been in the reaction world, being reacted to, uh, for a while. Never checked out their work. I thought today might be a good, good idea to see how you guys take the fan works again and see if this is something you'd be interested in. So I think basically there's a bunch of shorts with basically a thumbnail so it's basically a cat animations where they put these acts kind of like cats I'm guessing, which I have two cats so some of these should be kind of relatable. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. Yeah, this is already really label. It's a cute Twilight face. I only have two cats, so I don't have mul I don't have multiple cats. Cats do that a lot. Oh yeah, cats love lasers. Oh, great. Never had that happen before, but cats love lasers. And cats also love each other's tails. I don't know why, it's weird. They always mess with their own tails or play with other cats' tails. It's weird. Great. Great. Yeah. True. Cats do that a lot too. You do something for them, they're like, nah, I don't want it. See ya. Cats love camera too, man. <laughs> they love it. If you put it in their face, they're either going to purr on it, or they're going to knock it over and break your phone. No, I've seen cats do that. My cat is other, yeah, but cats love drawers, man. And you can't stay love drawers. Never seen my cat do that before, though. Just come in and fly. Who think cats do that? Okay. You want to get? Uh, yeah. My cat does that all the time. I have a dice tray here, and you can. Definitely tell us it's too small for her. But she likes to lay in this fucking thing. You can tell this thing is super small, but she loves to lay in this for some reason. Even though she can't fit in it. She loves to lay in it. And again, have you seen my cat fly? The clothes hanger. It's not the best thing for a cat. Don't want to put with clothes hangers. Cats also love bags, man. They can't help it. They love getting in small areas they're not supposed to get into. The cat hasn't done this yet. Has it got her head stuck in a jar? I think it's gonna come soon. But that, every cat loves a fucking box. Let's say that. Cats love boxes. Yeah, that's. Oh, don't don't tell me this is very accurate to my cat. Yep, very accurate to my cat. She does that all the time. Not even with my own stuff. She does it with her toys, her bed. 
my, my figures back there. She likes to jump up there and knock everything down. She's the cat still knocking shit down. A bit funky with the tail. Yeah. I haven't seen most of that. Most of my cats, they don't like being put any things on their heads. Mostly they just go in there. She doesn't mind mirrors. For some reason, every other cat's tape mirrors. Yeah, most cats are I hate water. Yeah, yeah. But some cats actually don't mind water. So, so there's a. Uh, what's going on? Oh, great! The the meme. <laughs> Again, boxes. Again, cats love boxes. They love getting into small areas. Again, they're not supposed to get into. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, cats usually sleep about three, four in a pile. All about the same time. They just do it. And they all face like different directions just like that. That's fun. That too. They, they, cats love to hide everything from you. Their own vomit, their own crap, their own toys. Whatever they can hide, don't hide it from you. Yeah, I don't know what to say. There's no music. It's just this. So I'm just saying what all my cats do. Don't think it's relatable though. Unless you have cats. Then it is. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Haven't had anybody bring in mud yet. I wonder when they're gonna bring in mud. Was it you already, was it? Bring in the mud? No, it was Twilight. Of course. Bring in all the mud. That's more of a dog thing than a cat thing. Cats don't really like to get dirty. Oh, great. On the pie. Not on the pie. Oh, yeah. I don't know why they hate cucumbers. It's always been a interesting turn of events. Alright, that was cute. Oh, the printer, here we go. Cats and technology don't go well. I'll tell you that. What's she, what's she printing? Oh, that. Let's see. Nice. What's going on? Oh, yeah. That, too, fix it. Of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> Again. You're in a cat house. This is bound to happen. Oh, great. <laughs> Gonna break the pot. Gonna destroy the pot. You can get your sleep. And until that happens. Until everyone starts bringing their food in. Yes, yeah, so you guys did the outro. I think the order might have been off in my recordings, so I had like 
one, three, and then two in my actual record, uh, and actually the software that I used to watch stuff, which is this uh, VCL media player. So it might have been off, but I'll try to fix that the best I can within editing. But these are fun. I don't know if you really get them unless you're a cat owner like me. I have like five cats. But a lot of things were very accurate. Cats like to get into small places that they don't really try to fit in. They just kind of hug the wall and hopefully they get in. They love boxes. They love getting into boxes. Like I said, my dice tray there. You can tell that's not big enough for my cat, but she lays in it anyway, or at least tries to. Um, yeah, they like jumping on window seals. Uh, they like messing with... They're very curious creatures. They like messing with things. Water. Uh, they like to see what they can get into. They like to hide pretty much everything from you. Uh, mostly it's just their own toys and things that they have, like, personal items, I guess you could say, more of, like, I seen her try to hide a hairball at one time, trying to hide it on, like, underneath the table. Like, what are you, what are you gonna keep that for? Idiot, but, you know. This was, uh, they're really fun and really cute. Uh, I can't wait to do more of their stuff. Uh, most of their stuff seems to be kind of more quiet and more short animations, which I kind of like makes it easier for me to just throw them out there and get them done. So yeah, if you like this more fan or trade stuff, you can uh, tell me in the comments. Uh, make sure you like, uh, uh, like, comment, and do all the fun stuff. Uh, see you guys next video. Peace out. Bye. Put all of you into a castle full of a thousand chests. And one of the chests contains an item required for you to continue the quest. And all of the other unopened containers are mimics and traps. So you'll have to open them all to recover the item, which is a map that will lead you into a complex dungeon with enough gold to make the whole team rich. But you better be ready to go to battle with a demon lord and a lich.